the HF as Novices Hurdle is next. And at the top we've got Corson's Pride for Martin Lidham, Gravelos, Darren Thompson, Gravy Baby for Derek Hinton, Herbalistic Blade, David Robertson. It's a start, Craig Beckwith and Sarbella Montoya for Paul Road. Six of them then away and racing in this Novice Hurdle. Novice Hurdle with a difference as Gravelos is in the lead. The difference not only that it's a mare's only race, but it's also got a ghost horse running in it. And as we were around last week, Gravy Baby and Derek Hinton suffered a fatal fall at the first fence. I was reliably informed by the powers that be that we don't let horses die in SO7 because it wouldn't be nice. And so he's been miraculously brought back to life by the medical people and he's today, well she's today, running at a mare's hurdle. So congratulations to Derek Hinton for your indestructible ghost horse and it should have been called Ghost Baby rather than Gravy Baby. I get over the second. And I'll keep my mouth shut next time I see anything interesting in the card at the end. I get over the third. And Gravelot is the leader. It's a perfect world, SO7. We don't die. We just reinvent ourselves. That's Gravelot in the lead then. We're on Corson's Pride in second. Herbalistic Blade is on the inside third. And Gravy Baby is in fourth. It's a start after that one, and then Sarbella Montoya. Revelos for Darren Thompson leads over the fourth. Wrong Herbalistic Blade. And then Corson's Pride, the four year old. Then comes It's a Start, Gravy Baby after that one. And finally, Sarbella Montoya. Sorry about that. Voice croaking, so I'm not croaking as well I'll reinvent me next week there's Gravelos in the lead <laughs> they get over the third from home and Gravelos is the leader from Herbalistic Blade in second, then it's a start and Sarbella Montoya Corson's Pride and Gravy Baby the back two this leader Gravelos is travelling nicely in front still six furlongs to go Leading by two and a half lengths. It's a start. Herbalistic Blade and Sarbella Montoya of three in a line. Gap on five lengths then to Corson's Pride and Gravy Baby at the back. Just two flights to go and the jockey on gravel ice. Having a little look round. See where the rest of them are. It's a start. Looks to be the biggest danger. Although Sarbella Montoya is starting to get going. And Herbalistic Baby is also... Getting into overdrive, Gravy Baby starting to run on. So too to a lesser degree is Corson's Pride as they head towards the second from home then. Got just over two and a half furlongs still to go. Gravelos lands over the second last in the lead from Sarbella Montoya. And it's a start. Herbalistic Pride is next. Corson's Pride has suddenly sprouted wings. And they're racing down towards the final flight. And it's Gravelos in front. Gravelos still in the lead from it's a start in second. And Sarbella Montoya and Herbalistic Pride. Corson's Pride is still trying to get close. And the furlong to go on one to jump. This is the final flight. And this time in the lead. And between the two of them is Sarbella Montoya who's come through to take it up. Sarbella Montoya is in the lead. It's three and a no fighting back, it's a start, it's a start on the outside, Gravelos on its near side, it's a start, going to take it from Gravelos, Herbalistic Blade, Sarbella Montoya, and then Corson's Pride, and all the way back to Gravy Baby, who was the last one to finish, Craig Beckwith takes the win, it's a start, and Gravelos in second for Darren Thompson, Herbalistic Blade for David Robertson was fourth, was third, sorry, Sarbella Montoya, Paul Rhodes was fourth, and Corson's Pride was fifth.